I'm Courtney Wright. I grew up in a small town on the Robinson County line called Larnburg. I am a certified peer support specialist on the rapid response team. The, so it's a post-overdose response team. We reach out to people who have suffered an overdose and try to get them connected with resources that they may need, Narcan, harm reduction, um, food, hygiene, you know, from basic necessities to life-saving. I remember crying every night just asking God, help me, please let me stop using these substances. And I couldn't. I woke up the next morning and had to do it all again. I was tired of living but too afraid to die. And I just knew if I kept getting high and kept doing what I was doing, I was gonna die. I was so scared that I was losing my mind and I was dying at the same time. Addiction to me is wanting to change but too afraid to change. In my story, I mentioned, you know, I wanted to die, but I was too afraid. Uh, and I did, I wanted to die. I've asked God plenty of times just to take me, but I was too afraid to kill myself. I was too afraid to try and end my life, but I did not want to keep going. And that's addiction, that's the insanity. Like, I'm doing the same thing over and over, but I'm expecting it to be different this time. I think there could have been an intervention way before that. There could have been an intervention when I had my daughter in the hospital and she had pain pills in her system. There could have been an intervention when I was in high school missing, missing days of school, skipping school, and even in middle school when things started changing. I mean, there was a drastic change in my life and I think that intervention could have came a long time before it did, but I'm just thankful it did come when it came. It saves lives, it um, lessens trauma. Um, if someone would have stepped in when I was in middle school, I might have never took a pain pill. I might have never, you know, sold myself. I might have never lost respect for myself. I may have not been a teenage mother. I, you know, there's so many things that could have happened if I would have had intervention in middle school or high school. I'm going to school now for human services technology and substance abuse. My main goal is to start my own program for children for the children who are in households with those who suffer from substance use disorder. Because I was that child. I was that child watching their mama not out and then I became that mama. And uh, I was able to break that cycle for my children, but there's thousands of other children who are sitting at home right now hungry and watching their mama sleep. This program is very much so needed, but we need prevention programs. We need someone who steps in when someone's in middle school when they started drinking, when they started smoking. We need someone who steps in when that child is in high school, when their grades start decreasing and they are missing school and then they dropped out. We need someone who steps in and prevents all this trauma from happening because it's just a cycle that keeps going from mother to child to the next child to the next child.